For our last story tonight, let's go back in history to the First World War. It lasted from 1914 to 1918. It involved a new kind of mechanized warfare where bodies were gassed, maimed, even burned. Combatants not only lost limbs, but also their faces. And those with ghastly facial injuries were often shunned in civilian life. But they also discovered a new armor, plastic surgery. Now, doctors could fix shattered jaws and reconstruct broken noses. This was the first phase of plastic surgery, focused only on reconstruction, on medical situations. But in the decades since, it has, be it has come a long way. Many still use plastic surgery for medical life-saving reasons, but others do it to freshen up their looks. In today's world, plastic surgery's main goal is enhancement. And that's what we'll talk about tonight, the alteration of human body to achieve aesthetic goals. To get a little tuck in here and a little bounce there, aesthetic surgery has been on the rise worldwide. It has risen by 33% over the last four years. Liposuction or fat removal surgery is the most common one. There are more than 1.9 million recorded procedures every year only for fat removal, 1.9 million annually. And this is worldwide data, but in some countries, the surgeries are more common than others. Topping the list is the United States, followed by Brazil. These two countries are estimated to have the most plastic surgeons, more than 30% of the world's total. The next three champions are Asian countries, China, Japan, and South Korea. So many clearly see real benefits in plastic surgery. And now this cohort has welcomed a new generation, Gen Z. These are people born between 1996 and 2010. Why are they attracted to plastic surgery? Because we live in a post-Kardashian world where beauty no longer lies in the eyes of the beholder. It lies in the likes, shares and comments on Instagram and TikTok. Look at this TikTok video. It shows a young woman on what she calls her rhinoplasty journey. Rhinoplasty is a surgical procedure that alters the appearance of the nose. And this video may seem odd, but there are millions like this one on social media. Together, they form a battalion of niche content. They're supported by a trending hashtag. They take the viewer on a cosmetic journey and they garner millions of views. In videos like these, the guide is a peppy young content creator and the motivation is to get an itty bitty waist or sharper cheekbones or even a big pout because the young don't need a genetic lottery to look appealing anymore. Now they can get any bodily aesthetic they want. So they're investing thousands of dollars to modify their bodies and booking cosmetic procedures in larger numbers than ever before. Reports say 75% of plastic surgeons in the US are seeing a spike in clients under 30. Worldwide, most breast augmentations and rhinoplasties take place in people aged 19 to 34. But the biggest shift, we say, is not in the numbers, it's in the mindsets. Back in the days, that surgeries used to be a hush-hush affair. Now they make for good content. So Gen Z is banging the digital drum and sharing their cosmetic surgery journeys online. Take Alex Earl, for example. 22 years old, she celebrated her surgery's one-year anniversary on TikTok. Or Audrey Peters, all of 25, she digitally documented her journey of getting chin fat removal. These women are not the exception, by the way. They are the norm. Now, plastic surgery is a personal choice, and we get that. And 20-somethings and are being transparent about it, which we say is an excellent value, transparency. But these are also potentially dangerous procedures. Plastic surgeries are much more than easy, breezy, 30-second time-lapse videos. They can result in blindness, in blocked blood vessels, and even loss of skin and life in extreme cases. So we can't help but question the merits of these aesthetic aspirations. Who is influencing these influencers and whose idea of beauty are they trying to conform to? Think about it. We'd like to hear from you.